This short video demonstrates best practice procedures for electrical workers to work safely and in compliance with the work health and safety and electrical safety laws. Hello. Hi Stefan, it's Charlene calling from the Territory Business Centre. Just calling to report a broken PowerPoint. Contact with electricity is hazardous and can result in serious injury or death. Two guides are available to assist electrical workers to work safely. The Australian Standard for Safe Working on or near low-voltage electrical installations and equipment and the Code of Practice – Managing Electrical Risks in the Workplace. You will also require a risk assessment for electrical work, one which you have prepared for yourself or provided to you by your employer. Larger work sites may have their own procedures. Always explain to the site owner the work to be undertaken, including the need to de-energise and isolate the circuit so you can safely work. Tell them what areas will lose power, how long this work will take, and ask that this information is communicated to all staff on site so no one attempts to switch the power back on while you're working. Okay. Sounds good. Thank no you. worries, thanks. Check if the job site has a site-specific risk assessment. If they do, review their risk assessment and sign on to it as there could be hazards unique to this job site. It's good practice at the beginning of the job to test your multimeter and ensure it is working correctly. After you have identified and isolated the circuit, always lock out and tag out the circuit breaker to prevent someone switching it back on before you've finished your work. Before you start work, always test to ensure the circuit is dead. Following the correct procedures and actions can protect you from the risk of contact with electricity. Don't take shortcuts and risk serious injury or regulatory action by NT WorkSafe.